Hello my loves, welcome to your brand new ASMR Reiki point of view video. Today's video has been requested by one of you guys. We'll be doing a session on addictions and I just want to mention before we get started that it's always a good idea to seek professional help if um, whatever you're dealing with, whatever addiction you're dealing with is starting to feel overwhelming and out of control, this video is just meant to help you with the energetics of it and you can kind of see it as a first aid kit, so to say, to help you when you start feeling that overwhelm since we'll be working on relaxing your nervous system um, and helping you to create space to deal with the overwhelm um, but yeah, like I said, it's always a good idea to seek professional help if you feel like you could benefit from it Also, I want to mention um, that for today we'll be using a singing bowl but that will be the loudest sound of the whole session and it will be the first ASMR trigger um, that we'll be using there will be no tapping in today's video so if you're listening to this um, before going to bed, um, there won't be any tapping waking you up in the middle of the session. So um, let's get started with um, our session. I'm just going to take some time here to smooth out blankets. Take some time to make yourself really comfortable as well. It's really important when we're dealing with addictions to know how to self-soothe So if you want to, you can pause the video, make yourself a hot tea or a hot chocolate Maybe wrap yourself up in a little burrito blanket um, And then we'll get started Okay So, as I said, we're going to start with the singing bowl And once you're settled in and comfortable, all I want you to do is to listen to the sound of the singing bowl. Allow yourself to get lost in the sound. Allow everything else to fall away fall to the background and I'm just going to be going over your whole body here with the singing bowl I also wanted to mention that addictions can come in different varieties Usually we immediately think of drug addictions or alcoholism But you could also have an eating disorder Any sort of coping mechanism that is self-sabotaging Any sort of coping mechanism that leaves you with negative side effects in the long run is a form of addiction so what we're going to do today is create a bit of space for you between the trigger, the discomfort, or the pain and the urge to reach for whatever it is you usually reach for So for now, just be with the sound of the singing bowl Allow it to be everything that there is For now, there's nothing else to think about Allow yourself to get lost in the sound
allowing it all to accumulate there. So if you feel any pain or discomfort in your head or your throat, allow it to flow down to your upper belly. If you feel any pain in your hips or your legs, allow it to flow up to your upper belly. And as much as you can, allow it to be there. Create space in your belly for the discomfort and the pain. And once it's all there, imagine you could push it out of your skin into the energy field around you. Pressing the overwhelm out of your body, out of your skin. Allowing it to spill out, spill over. to do now is remove that overwhelm for you, scooping it up, notice the silence that the singing bowl has left us with. this energy from the space in front of your upper belly. And as the energy is being removed, you can feel the energy of your own self opening up again. It's like draining a sink or a bathtub. As we remove this energy, a sense of spaciousness takes its place. crystals for you today, just two, which I will be placing one at your feet and one at your heart. The first one is this beautiful Labradorite. It's a grounding stone crystal. I'll be placing this one right by your feet. And then we have a few shites, which I will be placing at your heart center, right here on your chest. This one is great for healing, especially family traumas or um, things that have to do with our childhood. So I'll be placing this one down here on your heart. So now that we've created a bit of space in your body, remove 
removed some of that initial staticky, overwhelming kind of energy. I will be performing full body Reiki on you and we'll be going from body part to body part, bringing our breath towards those spaces and infusing them with love. For today's session, I'm actually going to start at your feet instead of your head, since we want to focus first on grounding. So I'm just going to place my hands on your feet and all I want you to do is bring your breath all the way down to the tops of your feet. Breathing slowly and gently, allowing the breath to reach all the way down into your feet. And then with every inhale, I want you to imagine the skin of your feet expanding so that you create more space in your feet. And then with every exhale, your feet come back to their normal size. So inhale and expand, creating space. Exhale, contracting again. So keep doing that. Deep inhale, expanding. And full exhale, contracting. And all we're doing out here is energetically clearing out this part of your body. Alright, and then as you feel the energy expanding in your feet, I want you to send love towards your feet. So as you inhale and you send the breath down, with it send love all the way down to your feet. And I will be helping you by sending Reiki energy to your feet as well. Allowing every muscle, every bone of your feet to be saturated with love. Okay. Moving up to your ankles. So now breathing down all the way towards both of your ankles. Again on the inhale. It feels as if the skin of your ankles is expanding, creating more space for your muscles and your bones there. And on the exhale, your ankles return back to their natural state. First, we're focusing on clearing this energy in the area. And once your ankles feel spacious and free, start sending love with your breath all the way down into the ankles. Saturating them with loving energy, filling every little cell. Moving up to your shin. So again, first just focusing on the breath. Deep inhale down to your shins. Also including the back of the lower legs, your calves. On the inhale, allowing the lower legs to expand. And on the 
exhale, contracting again, creating a natural flow of energy, helping to clear out any blockages. And then when you're ready, sending love with the breath all the way down to your lower legs, to your shins, to your calves, all the way around, deep into the lower legs. Moving to your knees, deep breath all the way down to your knees, allow your knees to expand, and then full exhale, deep breath in towards the knees, exhale, Allow your knees to contract, to come back to their natural spatial dimensions. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, contracting. Allowing the energy to circulate in your knees as you inhale and exhale. Mopping up, clearing up any bits of lingering energy that don't belong. And then sending love all the way down to your knees. Filling every little cell until they're vibrating with love. Good. Moving up to the upper thighs. Sending your breath all the way down. To your upper legs. On the inhale, expanding, creating space. And on the exhale, contracting again. Allowing every nook and cranny of your upper legs to be cleared out by the breath. Allowing the breath to sweep away any pain, any stagnation, any discomfort. And then when you're ready, sending love with the breath all the way down to your upper thigh. And then moving up to your hips. Again, allowing the breath to flow all the way down into the hips. Creating space on the inhale. And on the exhale, contracting again. Flowing down like an ebb and flow, like the ocean. Using the breath to create space. To clear any deep tension in the hips. Freeing up 
any stuck energy. And allowing things to flow again. And then sending love down to your hips. Again, allowing every muscle cell, every bone cell, every skin cell to be filled, to be saturated with love. Feeling so full, so whole, so loved. And then moving up to your lower belly. Bringing the breath down to the low belly. Okay, on the inhale, feel a full expansion here of both the lower belly and the low back. Allowing your belly to take up space, to expand. On the exhale, allowing it to drop down again. Circulating the energy with your breath, with a sense of gentleness and caring. And then infusing the breath with love, allowing your lower belly to be filled with love. Filling up every cell, every organ in your lower belly. Releasing any energy blockages, Allowing the love to overflow. Moving up to your upper belly. Again, first just bring the breath to your upper belly. Creating space both at the front and the back of the body. So now we're working on the middle back and the upper abdomen. Breathing deeply but gently. Allowing the breath to flow with ease towards the upper belly area. And once you have that feeling of spaciousness, infuse your breath with love, send it to your upper belly. Allowing this love to saturate every last cell your upper belly. Really good. And now moving to your heart 
space right by your chest breathing into your heart, into your chest allowing the ribcage to fully expand in all directions so not only to the front your ribcage expands to the side and back as well Using the breath to clear out the heart center. Creating a gentle wave-like movement of energy in your heart. On the inhale, expanding, creating space. the exhale, allowing your chest to fall back down, resting. And then when you're ready, infusing your breath with love, Allowing your whole chest to be filled with this love. Every cell is so overflowing with love, with a sense of wholeness. Really allow this love to settle in deeply, deep into every cell, and even the spaces between the cells. And then moving to your shoulders. Breathing gently into your shoulders, the front of the shoulders, tops of the shoulders, and the back of the shoulders. Creating space on the inhales, expanding on the exhale. Allowing the body to become heavy again, to sink down. Creating a flow of energy in this way. And then sending love to your shoulders. Allowing the love to permeate every last centimeter or inch of your shoulders. And then moving down to the upper arms. Breathing deeply into the upper arms. Both the fronts and the backs. Creating space on the inhales. And creating relaxation on the exhales. Allowing the energy to flow down to the upper arms. And then sending love to that part of your body. Saturating it with love, kindness, and gentleness. And then moving down to your elbows, bringing the breath all the way into the 
pelvis joint, both the left elbow and the right elbow. On the inhale, creating a sense of expansion, space. On the exhale, relaxation. Allowing your elbows to ebb and flow as you breathe towards them. Clearing up, clearing out, and then sending love to your elbows. Allowing them to overflow with love, creating a sense of gentleness. In that part of your body. And then moving down to your lower arms. Again, first just breathing towards that space. Deep but gentle breaths in. Creating space on the inhales and deep relaxation on the exhales. Releasing any muscle tension from the forearms. And ascending love your lower arms. Good. Moving down to your hands. Breathing all the way down into every fingertip. On the inhale, expanding, creating a spaciousness. On the exhale, contracting, relaxing, allowing your hands to become heavy again. Using the breath to clear any stagnation in your hands. And then sending love to your hands. Allowing every finger to be filled with love all the way down to your fingertips. And then let's move back up the body towards your neck. So again, gently bringing the breath into the throat. Allowing your neck to expand in all directions as you inhale. Creating a sense of openness spaciousness on the exhale allowing everything to return back into its original state relaxing all the muscles and the skin of your neck allowing the breath 
to sweep up, to unblock any energy blockages here. And then sending love to your neck. Allowing it to be filled and overflowing with love. Being deeply saturated into every cell and in between. And then lastly, your head, I'm going to come and stand behind you and have my hands on either side of your face, just by your ears. And now imagine you could breathe into your head on the inhale, creating space, expansion. On the exhale, allow everything to return back to normal, releasing tension. Keep sending the breath towards your head, allowing the breath to clear the space. And then using the breath as a vehicle for love. Sending love deep into your brain. Into every little bone of your skull. To the muscles, the skin. The nerves. Allowing every cell to be overflowing with love. Okay. So let's do a few general sweeps here to get a feel by the shift in the energy. So what we've done now is brought some space to your body and your nervous system to decompress a little bit and to take off the edge of the overwhelm that you're feeling. If you want to, Take a nap if it's daytime right now, allow everything to settle in or go to sleep if it's nighttime. I do really recommend that once you've woken up to take a journal and to journal about whatever it was that brought on these feelings so that we can break the cycle so that we can bring light to our pain, to understand our pain, where it's coming from, to bring love to it, and then to work through it with gentleness. So, I hope you're feeling a little better now, a bit more relaxed, feel maybe a little bit more spacious. So, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys very soon for another 